All right, welcome back, my dear student. This is Edwin Diaz again with another beautiful uh, tutorial or lecture. All right, on today's lecture, we are going to be learning how to update, all right, using the many to many relationship. So let's open our IDE, and I said it correctly this time IDE, not just an editor. This is a powerful, powerful, powerful stuff. But anyway, let's go and learn how to update. I hope I didn't say read. All right, this is a lecture for learning how to update. So I'm going to create a route and I'm going to call it update. And here I'm going to show you a really cool thing that you probably did not know that you could do with Laravel. All right, we've done something similar, but not like this. All right, so of course we find the user so that way we can find its relationship. So we say find or fail. I want you to get used to doing that one. All right, cool. Find the user. We got the user. Now, look at this. Now, let's find out if the user has a role. So I'm going to say if user has roles. Now, this is a method here that we can use to find out if the user has a relationship. Okay? Has. Or it could have anything. Well, if you go into the documentation, look for that keyword for that functionality. That method could tell you other things as well. I think this method could find other, uh, besides relationship, it could find other things if uh, you put it with something else. You use it as another, uh, as a function or something like that. All right? But I know we can do this. If the user has roles, all right, then what we're going to do is we're going to loop through, through that role because remember now it's a collection. User roles as role. And I bet you did not know this. All right. Let's actually even check this out real quick before I, I show you. Let's do this. If the role name equals to administrator, and I don't know if it is right now. Let's just look at it. Let's go to PHP my admin. All right. PHP my admin. All right. So let's check the many to many. The role is administrator with a capital A. Okay. So if it's administrator with a capital A, well, with an uppercase A, then what I want to do is I want to change it. So I'm going to gr grab the role name. Oops. Jeez. Role name. Wow. And I want to create a lowercase name. Now, of course, I could use a function, a PHP function here, str, right? str to lower, and I could make what, if this was a, a variable or something like that, we pull it out, right? I could just put it right here and it would, it would make it a lowercase for me. But in this case, I'm just demonstrating something. And we have a couple of other helper functions from Laravel as well, which is really uh, cool, all right? That we can do a lot, of, a lot of things too. And they are they make more sense than the native PHP, by the way. All right, so once we change the role, all we have to do is call that save method on that model. That's it. Okay, look at that. That's beautiful. All right, so we know we know that it has a uh, uppercase A. Let's uh, oh, let's make it totally something different, like this subscriber. That way, you know exactly that it worked. Okay, let's see if we can find a browser that can. And that's an update. All right. Whoop, there we go. Update. Enter. Voila. Cool. Let's go and. All right, I got it right here. Many to many roles, and as you can see, it has been changed. Subscriber, beautiful, right? So as you can see, you can. There's a lot of things that you can do with Lara, but you can even put if, of course, the word statement anywhere you want. I mean, as you can see, you we get the collection, we get the object out of that collection, and we grab it by its property and assign it a different value and then use the save method in that model to save it. 
Beautiful. I mean, it doesn't really get better than that and easy. All right? So anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. It's a pleasure like always. Remember that you can look this up in the documentation anytime. Just look for links in your sections. Take care.